I mean, us that are working with the outreach activities connected to the Nobel Prize, I, we see that wherever we go in the world, wh wh wherever we communicate the content and the world and the universe of the Nobel Prize, it actually provides a huge inspiration to young people and people of all ages, actually, from all kinds of backgrounds. And we feel that, of course, the the Nobel Prize is, is one is the mo world's most prestigious prize, and and that that's dependent on the work that has been carried out by the prize awarding institutions for for 123 years with integrity, with excellence, with independence. Uh, but we feel that it's important that this power shouldn't stay within the academic circles. We should really use it uh, to. Uh, to inspire younger generations and to, to foster ne next generations of Nobel Prize laureates to, to create the world and the future that we want. We plan ahead uh, but it takes a lot of efforts and a lot of work. So we, we're going to some other places in the world next, but we really like to come back to South America. We've really enjoyed our stay here to see the engagement, the interest, the enthusiasm of the students that we've met, both in Rio de Janeiro and Brazil uh, and uh, Sao Paulo, has been really encouraging. Uh, the auditoriums have been full in both universities and People have stayed all day and when the programs ended, they've entered the stage to try and talk to the speakers and the laureates and to see that kind of engagement in these matters that we want to bring to the forefront, I think is really promising uh, for Brazil and for us all. So uh, we're looking forward to come back. I mean, as you state, uh, there's been an increased skepticism towards science, but also towards the institutions that communicate and carry the, um, the, the flag of, of, of science and, and fact-based knowledge in the world. And of course that affects uh, the Nobel Foundation. It, it could possibly affect the Nobel Prize uh, organization as well as uh, any other knowledge institutions. And I, I think what we can all do is, as we've discussed today, uh, be transparent, do our work with integrity, and, uh, and, and and not give up. I mean, this dialogue that we've seen today, I think, sends a clear message of that we will not give up in terms of uh, showing and finding new ways in how we can actually make science uh, influence the world more, have our leaders take fact-based decisions, and be that force in the world. We can only continue to do uh, work for what we believe in, and uh, uh, and. Uh, and never lose hope.